My overall goal in the next few videos is to write a function that takes as input some positive integer n and as output returns a length n list that alternates between 3 and 8. Uh, that includes a lot of new topics. So for example, we need to see how do you define a function in Python and we're going to have to use if statements to decide like should we put a 3 into the list or should we put an 8 into the list. So I'm going to start out with an easier goal, which is write a function that takes as input n and as output returns this constant list of all threes. So let's see how to do that. And main thing we need to see is how do you write a function in Python? So here is the syntax. You say def space, then the name of whatever your function is going to be. I'll call it f. Then inside the parentheses, are whatever, whatever input variables you want to have. And then you have a colon. Now it's very similar to a for loop that everything that is part of this function definition should be indented. And so uh, let's try to, uh, within this function definition, let's try to define this length and list of all threes. And there's an easier way to do this, or at least a more elegant way to do this, using list comprehension that we'll get to later. But for now, I want to do this in what I think is a more basic way of using a for loop. So uh, let's start out with just an empty list. So square brackets to show that it's a list. And then I want to put a three into this list n times. So the obvious way to do that is to use a for loop. So for, let's say, i, even though we're never going to use this. Sometimes people would also use an underscore here to say, we're never going to use this variable, so let's just put underscore, but I'll put i for i in range n, okay, which is the same as this n. Now this part has to be twice indented because of it's both one indentation is for the function definition and the second indentation is for the being in the for loop. And so what do we want to do n times? We want to append 3 to my list n times. So that, that worked fine. It did not raise any errors. And let's try it. So this should return a length 5 list of all 3s. So it did not work. And even though this did not raise an error, there's something wrong with how I've written this function because I do not have it returning anything. So the way you tell Python what should be returned is with the return statement. So what do we want to return? We want to return my list. Okay, now it will work. Let's see. Nope, didn't seem to work. So what did I do wrong? Well, because this return statement was indented twice, that means it is happening inside of this for loop. So initially i is equal to zero. Then we append 3 to my list and get this list. And then before we do the next cycle through the loop, we return my list and then we're out of the function. So the rest of the for loop never happens. So that, that's what I did wrong here. So what I need to do is I need to unindent this. And now this whole for loop will happen, so we'll append 3 to my list n different times, and then after that's finished, we'll return my list. So let's see if it works now. f of 5. Yep, that worked. And something that can be confusing with regards to, to variables is what happens when we call f of 5, or what happens when we call f of 6. So this input here, that value of 6, n gets assigned to that value of 6. And so anywhere n occurs here, it, that's going to be uh, replaced by a 6 as we're running through the code in this function definition. And so you might expect that if I look at n, it will be equal to 6. But this variable it is only getting assigned locally inside the context of this function definition. So even if I have something like n equals 100, and then I do f of 3, or let's do f of 4 so it doesn't get confused with the 3s in here, and then I check what is n, still 100. 
So the variable name that I use here, you don't have to worry about that conflicting with any variables that you have defined other places in the notebook. Okay, so that was a quick introduction to functions and how you define a function in Python. And in the next video, we'll start working on how do you have different elements in the list going back and forth between these threes and eights.